All right, so what I want to cover today is um, a coolant system test. Uh, I'll do a vacuum test. So I just did actually a pressure test. So you can get uh, these pretty cool kits that come with a bunch of different caps and uh, attachments and testing tools. And you can get them off eBay. I think they're Chinese. I bought this one here in the Czech Republic, but <clears throat> I think it's just rebranded with the Chinese one, but it seems to work fine. So one of the tests you can use is a pump, the hand pump here. See the uh, let's see what you can see here. Pretty bright. That's the bar there, psi and bar. So what I just did off camera is I took there's an adapter here, and I put this on here, and I put in one bar. If you can't go over one bar because the uh, caps will start opening up and dumping the uh, pressure. In this case, it's okay. It's the second cap, the one point uh, almost four bar. Then it would let it out. But uh, one bar is all you need to do, and it held the pressure. Uh, I waited for like three or four minutes and it, and it held it. But another thing which is cool, <clears throat> also I should go back. So one reason to do that is just make sure all your hoses and everything are, are connected. Um, you can also test it for uh, head gasket leaks. Uh, so what I'm doing is because I changed out the thermostat. I had no thermostat uh, running distilled water. And now I'm putting in some Subaru mix and I put in a thermostat yesterday. So I need to test everything to make sure it's okay. So I did the pressure test and it's okay. So now what I'm gonna do is a vacuum test. And the vacuum test is basically, well, what it says, it's a vacuum. I'm gonna create a vacuum in the motor and we'll see if it holds the vacuum. And you can also test uh, for leaks this way. Uh, basically it's a pressure test and vacuum test, they, they serve the same purpose. Um, hopefully someone out there will t explain to me why a vacuum test uh, is maybe better. It seems to be a lot more vacuum tests uh, are better um one it's because you can get the air out of the system and you'll see uh well i might not do the video but when i fill it uh fill the radiator i'll use the vacuum in the motor to suck up the uh, fluid and it will completely suck it in so no air is introduced to the system but anyway that's a different topic so to make a long story short i have my uh gauge here so you can see it's at zero oh it's pretty bright here my camera is pooping out here. Anyway, so you have the adapter going into the refill here. The radiator cap is on. And it might get loud for a second. <clears throat> so I'm going to turn on my little tiny generator or air compressor. And it will probably not make it all the way and have to turn back on. So if I turn this on, just watch the gauge. Right to the end of the green here. So, yeah, I got it pretty close there. It's holding. Now, if you look at the pipes or the um, like radiator, they're completely sucked in. All the, uh, you can't see the lower one here, not enough light. Oh, you can see that one's sucked in as well. So you get, I have a super vacuum now in the system. So you can see if it's leaks, you can see that it's just holding it, which is good. So that my thermostat housing uh, is not seemingly leaking. I did pressure and vacuum. And basically you just wait here for like three or four minutes, see if anything changes. And if not, I've already done this so I can re release it. So I just open this back up and drop the vacuum out. or release anyway, and that's that. So now you know that your coolant system is not leaking. Uh, there's no bad head gasket leak with both a vacuum or a pressure test. Um, and I can do the next thing, which is refill it. So there you go.